Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to dare to share with you how you can upload this interactive virtual classroom into your Schoology without the black frame. This is the look we're going for in this video and not this. If you're interested to learn how to do this and not this, keep on watching. gotta give a big shout out to Teaching with Schoology, which is a Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description box below, so check them out. All right, let's jump into it. If you have your virtual classroom in your Google Slides and you want to embed it to, directly to Schoology, the look you will get is the one with the black frame. So to bypass that and not let that happen to us, we need to copy this and paste it into drawing. Let's open drawings. I just click on my bookmark. But if you don't have it bookmarked, just type drawings.google.com. And uh, as you can see, the page setup is different. Now we need to change the page setup. The one that I have this one set for in my Google slide is should be the standard one, 16 by 9. So we will just change the setup here. We'll go to file and change the setup to 16 by 9, apply. Now we are ready to copy and paste it. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the slide and do Control A, which is going to select everything, and Control C to copy it. Now we should be able to transfer that over to your drawing by Control V. Okay, now you wait for it to load. Again, the steps were Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then you click on your drawing and do Control V to paste it. Now let's give it a name so we can easily find it. Let's call it God Loves You. Now we'll open Schoology and you'll find your course where you want to upload this. You will go to Materials, Add Materials, Add a Page. Again, God loves you. We'll go to insert content. Now, this is an extra step we are taking. I'll tell you later on about why this is an extra step. If you don't have your Google Drive still in your Schoology, you would get that through the App Center that's right behind this on the blue bar. Now, we just have to find our file. If it doesn't show up here, just search it by God. loves you okay so we're going to this is the drawing so we'll click on that select it right and then you'll go to import and you need this import embed in your resource in your updates right here but this is the glitch that we're trying to overcome we don't have that in updates the option of embed so we need to get that by going to materials first and then it's going to show up in the updates Hope that makes sense. Okay, now I don't even have to click on create. I don't have to do anything. This is all we needed to do for the embed option to show up in updates. So we're just going to have to go to updates now, which was supposed to be the original first step to take. But for the glitch that Schoology has, we need to go to materials first, insert the material that we want to upload, and then just close it. Now, when you go to updates, you click on this filing cabinet click on apps fill a google drive resource app and again you will find your file i have to again search it god loves you i don't mind saying that so many times and again i click on the drawing file and you see now if i click on import this is going to be here available for me if i would not take that first step going into materials and add a page this wouldn't be here. So that's the glitch that hopefully we won't have to deal with this once we're back in classes. But this is what's happening right now, that this is not available in, um, in here through updates if we don't go to materials first. So now that I have it here available, I can click on it. It's going to import the file. Now it shows up in your announcement page. 
you can drag this and it's going to make it bigger so you can see your banner now we are going to click right here and you have to check the bell because that's going to make this banner this virtual classroom to be on top of all of the announcements and then you click on post Ta-da! now here's your virtual classroom interactive right on top of all of your announcements you see here's the one that i had initially uh, and this is the one with the black frame so this is uh, what it looks like once you post it into your announcements and if you still think that this is not cool enough this might change your mind i gotta bring onto the table one more cool feature that comes with this if you have a virtual classroom clickable any changes that you make in your drawings in your google slides will be automatically updated here so you don't have to go back and take it down and uh, upload a new one none of that so i hope you like this video i hope you find it helpful be safe god bless you and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone